Welcome to CoreCon today for March 1st, 2023. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting and give you my opinion on them. Now, this is my opinion. If you want to learn more about these stories, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. I'll put a link to each one there so you can read about them for yourself and come up with your own opinions. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Can you help us grow this channel? Can you help me support my family? Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, and hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Well, a lot's been happening the last 24 hours, so let's kind of rapid fire through some big stories here. Starting off with Dish and Sling TV have confirmed that they su suffered a cybersecurity breach, aka got hacked. Sounds like a ransomware attack, basically, that their system suffered one of those attacks that encrypts everything and that the hacker demands money. But it also sounds like that, that some customer data was extracted, or not necessarily customer data, they say personal data. That's made people wonder if it is customer data. We'll have to wait and see. They just confirmed that yesterday. You know, over the weekend, Core Cars News reported that there was reports that it wasn't just some type of horrible malfunction on their end that was some type of cyber security breach. And now it's been confirmed by DISH. DISH says that on the 23rd, that their systems um, became impaired. They brought in uh, outside help and contacted the authorities. On the 27th, they became aware that certain data was extracted from the corporate IT system as part of this incident. It's possible the investigation reveal that the, um, the uh, exact data includes personal information, is what they say. This is pretty big. This is a massive um, breach here. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. Now these breaches, just because they breached it doesn't necessarily mean they got people's personal information, credit card numbers and more. If those were properly encrypted and more. Shouldn't be an issue, we'll have to wait and see, but it may be time for you to go change your passwords if you use the same password on Dish. Just be cautious, they're not telling you to do it, but that's always my personal rule of thumb. Whenever I hear a company I use has a security data breach, I change my password. I would suggest everybody have that kind of same rule, but each their own when it comes to that kind of stuff. So let me know. It would be interesting to see how this plays out. For now, all systems are still working for Sling TV, Dish, Boost Wireless, and more, but the websites are still very limited. Customer support is still very limited. Dish is still working to recover from this massive outage. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. All right, let's keep moving forward. YouTube TV is improving picture quality. Now we started hearing about this over the weekend that YouTube TV was getting better picture and it, um, we tested it, and yes, people were right. The bit rate on it, which is the amount of data that kind of gets pushed at once, higher the bit rate, kind of is like a higher resolution. It allows for smoother graphics, smoother images, especially for rapid moving items. If you ever notice the tickers at the bottom look jerky on low bit rate versus higher bit rate. The balls flying through the screen, football players racing across the screen, looks a lot smoother with a higher bit rate. YouTube TV has increased its bit rate, um, and this has been confirmed by our testing and by some Redditors who posted their own re um, results there. I'll pull a link to that in the story down below. But this is likely part of YouTube TV's effort to offer better quality streaming for the NFL Sunday ticket. Now they announced when they got the NFL Sunday ticket, which will give them the ability to stream out of market games on the NFL, um, through YouTube TV and the YouTube app, that they would be increasing the um, quality of the stream, plus adding other features like multi-split view to watch multiple games at once. Seems like this is the first step in that. So if you've noticed YouTube TV looking a little bit better, the action looking a little bit smoother, you're not alone. They have been increasing the quality of their uh, streams over on YouTube TV. So check that out. Let me know what you think of it if you notice an improvement there. All right, the Reels channel and Peacock has struck a deal, and this is a bit interesting. It's not just to bring shows from the Reels channel over to Peacock, but to also bring a live feed of the Reels channel to Peacock. Peacock is kind of becoming a live TV streaming service. It'll be interesting to see if they start adding live feeds of other channels here. Maybe try to go to take on YouTube TV, Hulu, Fubo TV, Sling, and more. We'll have to wait and see how that all plays out. But there's a few catches here mainly because that Reels um, has uh, wrestling and Peacock has an exclusive deal with the WWE. So on Tuesday at 10 p.m. when Reels airs its Major League Wrestling, it, the uh, Reels will go dark on Peacock for an hour. That's because of its deal with WWE. Peacock can't have re competitive wrestling groups on there with it. 
So for one hour, I'm not sure that they'll probably just overlay stuff that air some other programming, but that one wrestling league won't appear on Peacock as part of this deal. Now this deal starts today. You should be able to start seeing it. Not by the time this video is posted later today, it should go live. Um, but let me know what you think of Reels being on um, Peacock. Do you think Peacock should become a live TV streaming service? Really, they, NBC Universal owns a lot of channels. It wouldn't take much for them to put them all on um, Peacock. We'll wait and see. Peacock is struggling to find must-watch TV that's going to attract people to actually pay for the service. So this could be one way to do it. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Do you, like me, kind of hate going to the movies but miss maybe the movie theater popcorn? <laughs> AMC sure hoping you do because they're going to start selling... Um, movie theater popcorn, AMC branded ones at Walmart. Yes, you'll be able to um, buy both pre-popped and microwavable packs of AMC's movie theater popcorn. They promise this tastes like what you're gonna get in the movie theater. And starting in April, you're gonna be able to buy it. It's gonna cost you, oops, scroll down, $3.98 for a six pack, um, or excuse me, uh, for ready to eat bags, $4.98 for a six pack of microwavable bags. Do you love microwavable uh, or movie theater popcorn? Would you want to buy it yourself? Mm. I'll be honest, I actually prefer going to this, um, watching at home than going to the movie theater. Better experience in my opinion, I enjoy it much more. My wife though prefers going to the theater rather than staying home. What can I say, Op opposites attract apparently. But let me comment, let me know um, how important that is to you and if you would spend the money to buy AMC movie theater or do you have a popcorn brand you prefer? All right, Starlink over the weekend launched the very first set, uh, or excuse me, on Monday, launched the very first set of second gen satellites. So these are the Starlink um, home internet service satellites. These are far faster, far better satellites than the first generation that have been powering the home internet service. They should offer better download speeds, better coverage, and better demand during peak hours to keep their um, internet going strong. Now this is just the start of the first batch being launched. They have permission to launch 7,500 of these satellites across the United States to help offer better internet. And it doesn't stop there. They still have 4,408 satellites of the first generation or so. I have to make sure that number is still correct. They've been launching satellites so fast. Um, the first generation satellites also launch. They're ask, asking the FCC for permission to be able to um, upgrade these with some tech from the second generation to make them even more powerful than the original first generation. So I have to wait and see how this all plays out, how it all works, um, but we're going to keep a very close eye on this and see how it all comes together. But if you have SpaceX, this um, Starlink home internet, probably not going to happen today, but in the near future, you probably are going to start seeing your home internet get even faster. All right, let's keep moving along. Some rapid fire stories real quick. Fox Weather is coming to LG Smart TVs. This is also announced that Fox's Weather, which is a free ad supported weather channel, they can get on tons of different services for free, including the Roku channel, Fubo, YouTube TV, Amazon News, Direct TV Stream, Zumo Play, Wow, Vidgo, TuneIn, and Plex, all for free. It is now going to be added to LG um, channels on channel 148 if you have a smart TV with LG channels. It's also coming to Optimum TV and Spectrum as part of the TV packages there. It's actually not a bad weather's channel. Let me know if you tried it, what you think of it. All right, if you're looking for a deal, Amazon has their smart plugs 40% off for a limited time. You can buy a smart plug for just $14.99 down from $24.99. I'll put a link to that in the show notes down below. And the last story up of the day, the Dove channel is merging with Dove.org and Christian Cinema. So the Dove channel is a Christian faith-based streaming service that's full of family-friendly content. And it has prices starting at $3.99 for a yearly build, um, $3.99 a month, or $4.99 a month for an ad-free version of the service, full of tons of family-friendly content. Now with this double merger here with the Dove.org and uh, Christian Cinema, they hope to offer even more programming through their uh, bundle there. So let me know, if you're looking for family-friendly content, the Dove channel, which also has a free version, unlike the Roku channel, ad supported selected parts of this catalog. But if you want everything they have to offer, very much a Netflix type situation, you have to pay a monthly fee. Well, that's it for today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Hey, if you have any tips, tricks, news, a lot of the stories you saw today came from tips from readers like you. 
go over to corecarsnews.com, send me an email by hitting the contact us on the top right of the menu. Send me an email, let me know the news that you found. Those tips help us out a lot. They help me bring this news coverage to you. Often we find stuff, but often these news stories come from tips from readers just like you. So until tomorrow, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.